I'm Jenny Breyer. I live in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm from New York City. I'm Kat Heinemann, and I'm an Army brat. But when I was 20, I moved to New York City, and I lived there for 15 years, and so I think of New York as my home. We approached our dear friends, um, who are a couple, and asked them, and, um, you know, we talked about it for several weeks, and uh, originally we thought, Maybe we'll get sperm from both of them and whoever we get pregnant from, whatever. And one of them was into it. And the way we presented it to him was, we will raise it. We will have all the rights and responsibilities. You won't have any of that. You can be involved as little or as much as you want, but we would ask you to sign away your rights. You know, this will be our child, that sort of thing. So I think he tried to, you know, keep himself detached. We had gone to the doctor for like this big, give a big test at 20 weeks. It's this, like they test everything. And we had had the test and everything was fine. Baby and, was healthy, everything was great. Yeah, so, I'm fi so that's five months pregnant. We went to the midwife for the checkup after that test and basically she did an exam and my cervix was opening. And it was almost viable, but had it been born at 22, 24 weeks, it probably would have had a lot of issues, so. So Bob came over that night and I couldn't like face him because I felt so awful that I hadn't, you know, been successful. And it was so heartbreaking. Clearly it, you know, it upset right. him too. Right. So anyway, we took a long pause because it was just, had to recover from that. Well, right. right. Physically and emotionally. Physically and emotionally. I just <clears throat> remember him saying like, I'll do it again. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. And it was like that moment where I knew, I mean, they were our, they were, they've become our good friends. But in part, we chose them because they weren't our best friends, you know, like, because you never know how these things are going to turn out. And so that was the moment where I realized that they were like our family. They were there when the baby was born and they came into the delivery room when Nate was like 15 or 20 minutes old. And I handed Nate to Bob. And instead of saying, Nate, this is your uncle, it just came out. I said, Nate, this is your daddy. And then at one point I said to Bob later in the day, I think I was driving him home or something. It's a couple days later. A couple days later. I said, you know, uncle just doesn't feel right to me. Is it okay if we call you daddy? And he got this huge grin on his face. And he was like, well, yeah, it's cool. So he's been daddy ever since. And they're both, now they're the daddies. Right. So, and they're, they just, they love him. Mm -hmm. They're madly, there's nothing they wouldn't do for him. Mm -hmm. So he's a lucky kid.